Hello everybody, welcome back to another Oscar predicting video. Today we're going to be talking about the category of Best Animated Short Film. Uh, this is the first of the short film categories, and uh, I'm going to be frank with you, these are really just guesswork. Uh, I do not have a very good track record when it comes to predicting the short film categories, and so uh, you, you really just have to guess. I don't know... Some people go out of their way to see all of these, and, and I might, uh, like, before the Oscar ceremony, but I, I I don't know with this one. I think I have an idea, a general idea. Animated short of the three is usually the easier one to predict because it's the easiest one to get a grasp on what the shorts are. Um, so with that out of the way, let's just, uh, let's just get right into it. Fifth most likely to win is opera. Now, I tried to look up like plot synopses of all of these shorts, and this is the one that's the hardest to find a plot synopsis for. From what I can understand, the short doesn't really have a plot per se, it's just short it's just showing you this like bit of animation that is like a clockwork machine where all these parts are moving uh are moving in conjunction with each other. And uh it looks like an interesting idea that's making uh, some kind of um, broad statement, but it it feels like an art piece uh, more than a, a short film. It, it I understand why it's nominated. It's like ooh, bold bit of animation, but I don't think there's much of a narrative with this one, and I feel like that's the sort of thing that they vote for: narrative and emotion in this category. And so for that reason, while, while I think it might get some votes because people respect the animation, I highly doubt that this one will be the winner. Fourth most likely to win is Genius Losi. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is another uh, heavily artistic one. Uh, the, this particular short film is really designed to g give this uh, intention of... Uh, of it, it says, uh, this animated short film is a metaphysical tale in which its heroine, the solitary rain, discovers in the midst of urban chaos an entity that appears to be alive and becomes her spiritual guide. It's a clearly a striking animation design, uh, and, and yet uh, I don't... This is the kind of anima animation that doesn't appeal to everybody. Uh, it has a very specific niche uh, group, and, and it's an interesting look. It's an interesting look, but I feel like compared to some of the more conventional-looking animated shorts, uh, I, I I don't know. It it also seems like it's kind of a you know, an adult story, uh, which again might not appeal to everybody with, with the art style. It it I can understand why it got nominated, but for from what I I hear from the people who have seen this short, it doesn't need to win. It it doesn't. It's not the kind of short that needs to be victorious in this category, so that's why I have it at number four. Third most likely to win is Yes People. Now, this is... I feel like every year we have one animated short that's really just meant as a joke. And I guess the joke here is that it's showing a bunch of people in a bunch of different situations, and, and they just say the word yes, and we have to write scenarios in which... Uh, showing all the different scenarios in which a person can say yes. And it's just really meant as a bit of humor more than anything else. And that's fine. Sometimes the humorous short is the one that wins, but not always. Usually they give it to the more emotional ones. And while this does have an interesting animated look to it, I can't buy it winning. I just It just seems too slight. Like, there's no real reason to vote for it other than it was the funny one. And it I don't think it was, like, that. It do, unless it was, like, something like Wallace and Gromit and Wrong Trousers or something that, like, perfect uh, animated slapstick comedy. Th this is the funny one, but it's not, ha ha ha, oh my god, that's so hilarious. Like, I I, I don't think that this is your winner. It, it seems too slight. It's, it's the funny one but not that funny. I don't think it's winning. Second most likely to win is Burrow. So this is the Pixar short uh, in the category. 
This is the only one I've seen because it... Well, I say it played in front of Soul. Technically, it didn't. It premiered on Disney Plus the same time as Soul. And so I, in keeping in Pixar tradition, watched it immediately before Soul. Uh, and it, it's a good short, but I, I don't really feel... It's a simple, cute little thing with this bunny and the, and the other animals in, in this burrow. And, and it's well done, but compared to some of the other shorts that Pixar and Disney have done that really do something different and bold with the animation or really get you in the emotional heartstrings, this one does not do either. This one, it's simple, it's cute, but there's nothing much... It's dip, There's not much to remember about it, and in, in this case, it's easily overshadowed by the film that follows it. And... Or I, if people watched it the same way I did, they watched Soul immediately afterwards, and they probably forgot about Burrow rather quickly. Sometimes the Pixar short stays with you, uh, especially if the movie is less than perfect. Um, but that's not the case here. Uh, Burrow is the more memorable. Sorry. Burrow is not as memorable as other Pixar shorts in the past, and that's why I really can't see this pulling out a win. The short that I believe will win the award is uh, number one most likely to win, If Anything Happens, I Love You. So this short uh, is on Netflix, and from what I understand, this is an absolute... This is the emotional gut punch. This is, this is a 12-minute animated short uh, drawn in a pencil style, and the premise is two grieving parents are struggling to confront the death of their daughter who was killed in a school shooting. And from everything I hear, not only is this the most topical and timely short, but it's a real emotional gut punch. And I feel like voters who watch all five of the short films, this is the one they're going to remember the most, and this is the one they're going to feel compelled to vote for. I believe it's also won quite a bit of uh, smaller awards in the build-up to this. So I'm fairly confident that this is winning. You can never be too confident when it comes to the short categories, but this is the one that feels the most like a winner to me, and so this is the one I'm going with. Um, if anything happens, I Love You is going to be the winner. That is my official prediction. And tune in tomorrow where I will be talking about the category of Best Animated Feature. So that's all for me today. Uh, stay tuned.